Hello, so, uh, remember, if you remember the little last light strip, it was really simple. Um, it just, uh, you hit the little button and it turned on and off. Well, this one's even nicer. I took a joystick, hit the button, and it turns on and off. But wait, check this out, check this out. So, um, yeah, like I said, this is a little joystick here. Um, like the one you would see on an Xbox or a PlayStation controller. A little, uh, it rotates and stuff. But I set it up so the code, well, I'll, I'll just show you. So you take it, you tilt it, and it goes. And as you rotate it around, it changes colors. Um, it's, it's really fairly simple. It's, uh, um, I'm going to assume you know what RGB means in a computer. It's a color space. Um, I used, instead of RGB, I used an HSV um, color format, which is really neat because if, uh, there's a really good Wikipedia page on it, um, on color space and whatnot, but if you, t if you visualize RGB color space as a three-dimensional, like, cube, wh um, where the from one corner of the cube to the opposite corner the uh, values increase so you can see you know the colors kind of shift and the mix um, adjusts as it goes through um, it goes from black to white which is on the opposite corner um, HSV would be visualized as a cylinder where from the bottom to the top of the cylinder would be your dimension for I think it's uh, value and then your um, axis from the center of the cylinder outwards would be um, would be the saturation and the rotation around the cylinder would be considered the the hue um, which is what HSV stands for hue saturation and value um, what what I did here was actually um, fairly simple well when I say that it's not not really that simple but um, I just took and this little joystick converted it from an X and a Y to um, to a vector which has a direction and magnitude um, and then I inputted the direction for the hue value the rotation around the cylinder and um, I inputted the magnitude for the saturation so the farther out you get from the center of the joystick the more color comes through instead of just white and then for the value it's just when you hit the button it just kinda scans through it um, from maximum right now to you know minimum so yeah it's pretty neat um, like I said it's on if you look it on the Wikipedia page it has a nice little diagram for HSV um, it really really helps understand what the hell's going on here because it's yeah I spent too much time last night working on it so that's cool so uh, yeah I'll uh, probably make this LED strip longer this is just kinda my little test bed LED strip for messing around with stuff I wanna s the code was um, it would have been simple if I started off doing this, but I kind of adapted the last bit of code to do it, and it's kind of messy, and it took longer than it should have. Um, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that difficult to do, um, as long as you kind of understand vectors and um, color space. Yeah. Uh, well. Yep. It's a pretty neat little thing. I, I like it personally. Oh, well, I also got a little mini Arduino Pro. Pro Mini right there, um, camera ain't focusing, but whatever, I like it, I'm gonna use it for something, I haven't figured out yet what, but yeah, neat.